Family, how are you all doing? Um, it's early and uh, I had a late night, so I should, I look like shit, but I feel great. I mean, I feel rough, but I just feel good um, psychically. Um, last night I played a uh, show at the waiting room with my friends who are, oh my goodness, gonna watch. do one thing at one time. Okay, all right. No, I won't start this over. I'm going to keep going. Uh, in Dream, we played our first show in months last night. Um, and, um, you know, the unfortunate thing is that you lose momentum when you don't play live a lot. And so um, uh, it wasn't a, a well-attended show, but it was it was a well-loved show. Um, in Dream, I opened up for Hollow Stars. Do I still have the record? Yeah. Hollow Stars from Athens, Georgia. This is the band that is led by Colin Mee, who is an original member of the band Deer Hunter, along with my good friends uh, David Matisiak and Mason Brown, who were in the band Jet by Day. And then Mason is Brain Worlds. He was also in Tilly in the Wall. Yeah, I love to make the connections, you know, um, tell you about who's who, it, so you can get an idea, you know, of who people are and maybe what they sound like. This is um, Hollow Stars. I got a lot to say, so let me just, just go all over the place. Hollow Stars were excellent last night. Um, this is all they have out so far. They're recording um, on the road, I guess. They did some sessions, and I forget what they told me, but really like Hollow Stars. The music at times reminds me of Hawkwind, and then at times more proggy. But it's real twinkly and twilighty and ambient as well as it rocking. And um, really enjoyed the show. I uh, was really pleased when the band told me uh, afterwards. They said, well, Derek, you're a big influence on our sound. You Seriously, you're, um, um, the music that, um, that you've been sharing with us, you know, Dave told me that. And then Colin, who was uh, originally in Deer Hunter, still lives with Bradford Cox, so does David. He said, yeah. It's like, you know, some of those records sitting right under my nose, you know, it's like, it's different now, you know. I'm, uh, that I love that. I mean, you know what I'm saying? In a lot of ways, folks, um, my all of my dreams have already come true. You know, it's not like there's nearly nothing else that I'm, I'm not reaching for this apex like some people are. It's like, you know, like, for example, some rich people who I'm just going to always stick it up in your ass, you know. Always more profit, always more, 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 more. You know, if I'd never do another record, have I have my dreams been answered already? Yes. If I never play another concert again, have I reached the pinnacle of what it is I wanted to reach already? Um, theoretically, yes. I've always wanted to have notoriety, to be recognized, you know, to a degree to have some fame. I have it. I don't, you know, I'm not a household name. Don't know that I would want to be one because of what the baggage that goes with it. But, um, yeah, all those things are, are, are alive now, and I'm very, very thankful. So getting back to the show. <clears throat> In Dreama, we played as a four-piece, and we were, sometimes there's many as six, seven people with dancers and all sorts of things. Last night, we were stripped down, and... It was one of our best shows. It really was, musically. And the whole audience, which was almost totally women. All right, ladies. And I know I, I find out that you guys are watching me. It's like, really, you know? I'm just so chuffed and pleased and and I feel blessed, you know? Thank you, friends. You know, women make the world go round, you know? And your energy last night was just amazing. And uh, we j and Dreama just played. We just played for you, and everyone got it. And um, Kelly Deal was knocked out. Uh, Kelly Deal of Our Ring and the Breeders. She bought my album. Um, first off, you know we played the set, and um, in Dreama she was playing pool at first. I always watch the audience, unlike some musicians. We stopped her pool game. I well, I saw it happen, and I saw the look on her face. Me, Kelly is 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 the, the real deal. She's a real music person. 
and I can see her look on her face. We had stopped her game because the music was so good, and it was. In Dreama is more, we're psychedelic, but we're more like a jazz band than a rock band. We improvise a lot. And um, even though we have backing tracks, even with the backing tracks, we never play, reprogram, or any of those songs the same. And the songs where we don't use backing tracks, like last night, um, I just started something, and next thing you know, we have a song, you know. I love that about Indrema. Which reminds me, man, there's a lot to tell you. Okay, so I met with um, Team Love, and um, I'm really happy about the arrangement. Team Love is going to distribute Indrema. We're going to share. I love this. I love this. I'm in business. I am releasing. I am releasing in Dreama, okay? So it's going to be on the Team Love and the DVH Recordings uh, labels, okay? It's going to have both labels. What Team Love is mainly doing for us is they're going to distribute us. Now, what I like about it is I'm going to still be able to do this the way I'm doing Derek, which is I will be able to sell in Dreama directly to you but you'll also be able to buy it retail in the stores, okay? Uh, and that's good. But I'm also glad that I'm doing this like this because I'm still in charge. You know, I made it clear to um, the label representative that I I need to make my money back, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, there's just no two ways about it. And here's the deal, I explained. I told him the story about Derek Three and how the vinyl community backed me, uh, loaned me the money, made it happen, made the money back. You know, I followed through with making the money back by making Derek 2, which is now happening as we speak. I've already made the majority of the money back that I spent to make Derek 2, which is the money I'm investing in in Dreama. But I explained to the record company that I can't be strung out like record labels do. I can't wait for quarterlies. I got to make my money back. You know, it's like, this is how I'm making a living. And this is also what I want to do. I want to release my music. And so, so this, this is, we're going to make this work. This is going to happen. We're going to make this work, but, um, uh, I'll, um, uh, it all, it'll, it'll be happening in August. The record should be, uh, should be, on vinyl drop in August. Uh, more to come. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased though that In Dream is going to be on Team Love slash DVH recordings. Eh, that's just kind of cool, you know. Um, you know, I went to the meeting not knowing what to expect. Come out of the meeting as a peer, you know, one record label to another record label. That was really, really nice. Really. I came out of that meeting like this, you know, feel good, you know, it's another thing that's happening. Okay, let's get to uh, our ring. You know, I listened to uh, Kelly Deal's um, new band, Our Ring, on their website or wherever, something online, and it was acoustic and it was good, but it was nice, so that's what I expected, and that's how they started, but they went punk fast with just two guitars. Kelly Deal is the real shit. Now, we all know about Kim because she's in the Pixies, but Kim and Kelly are twins. Kelly's sober. I know about that whole ordeal with heroin. She's sober as hell. And the girl is good. This is what I mean. She's one of those kind of musicians that has soul. She just will just hit a note. Just the way she hit that note, it's like, and then this was the coolest shit. She, um, they start out with a couple of acoustic numbers, then she straps on an electric. He straps on an electric. She, um, spiddling with these uh, pedals, and it turns out she's got the mic going through the pedals, and she puts all this distortion on her vocals, and it's they do all these breeder songs, and it's punk as fuck. And and the audience small, but mostly musicians too, and women. We went nuts. It's like, wow, she got down on her knees and just, <laughs> she did this song called uh, Drag Queens. It was just made the hair on my neck stand up. I wasn't expecting it. And um, 
I let them know that, yeah, come through next time. We'll, we'll be sure and get the word out, you know. Um, people need to hear, you know. There were some readers, fans. Matter of fact, there's this one drunk uh, kid. Um, he was young. Just drunk out of his mind. Falling all over people. And he's a good thing that he was in the company of my peeps. Because in Dreamin' it was, it was our people. Typical assholes would have beat the fuck out of him. And we would just help him up and pat him on the shoulder and... He was so drunk he could barely apologize. He was just out of his mind in love with Kelly, and it was really neat to watch. And she was so gracious with him, took a bunch of pictures with him, hugged him, just tolerated him so nicely. I was really impressed. I don't buy CDs. I bought this because, as you see, or maybe you can't see, these are hand-drilled uh, or whatever they did there. They have some vinyl coming out pretty soon. The note inside is in Kelly's handwriting. Then, of course, I had her sign it. We hit it off. I mean, people that have been through something recognize me. When I went up to Kelly before the show to introduce myself, I barely got my, I barely got out Kelly. My name is Derek. Don't I know you? Yeah, in a way she does. Our souls know each other. And um, it was kind of hectic, you know, and so we could only talk a little bit, but, but um, I'm on my path. I know that. And I'm honoring it. And it shows by how things go. Man, I just about got raped at the show by these fucking women. God dang. You know, it's, it's flattering, it's fun, and it's mind-blowing. It's like me... Crusty ass old me. I love it. So here's what's up. I'm up early. I'm the rest of my record should be here this morning. I don't have a feeling there's going to be a problem. So I've already started numbering. I'm going to go ahead and start getting records out today. Some of you folks hopefully will receive records as soon as Monday. Um. I don't think that the post office is that efficient that anyone's going to receive anything tomorrow, even though I might be able to get some Lincoln um, purchases out in the mail today. But I'm going to get, I'm going to do, I'm going to finish up numbering the orange. I've started numbering the black, but it's mainly the orange that it already sold. So I want to get those out. I want to, you know, Cool Ranch dressing, Randy LeMasters, you guys, yours will be going out today. Um, I will also say up front, because I'm just feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm doing, doing something right. I can say that. So I'm just, I can be transparent because I like being transparent. I'm going to sell one, one of the test pressings for Derek two to Randy LeMasters for $50 because Randy has been a tireless champion of me since he heard of me in digital sex. I realized that Randy years ago would have funded an album for me, but he already got fucked by my band, Digital Sex. I'll leave it like that without implicating any, any individuals. But he already got fucked. And who am I going to go, go, go? I could not in any good conscience go asking Randy for money. But he would have, I know, well, he's let me know. I don't know why you never asked. So out of honor, and respect for the history that I have of Randy. I'm selling him one of my test pressings for Derek too for 50 bucks. Now, tell me I'm an egotist or tell me I'm full of shit, but if anybody else wants one of these test pressings with a cover, it's gonna cost you a hundred bucks. Otherwise, I'm keeping them. I'm really happy to keep them. I'm a nerd. I love records. I'm so thrilled about this. This came out so beautifully. That's yours, Randy. Yeah, he got number two. Legitimately. That's love. It's almost like he was waiting. <laughs> waiting by the computer. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Randy, I honor you. I'll be selling you a... Um, you, you'll be getting a, a test pressing, Okay. And I'm serious, people. People pay all kinds of crazy ass money for for music. So you 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 can pay some crazy ass money for my music, okay? K 
can't wait for you guys to hear this. Can't wait. It's so much better than Derek Three. You you know, you know. I made the music. I sold a bunch last night. Ten records is a bunch, okay? People see it and say, huh, this is awesome. Stephanie, this artwork is just amazing. I knew it when I was picking through these. I could just see it in my mind. I could see this plus this. And I knew, oh, I could see it. I said, God, this is going to turn out good. And it has. I checked um, last night. I haven't checked this morning, but last night I checked um, my uh, PayPal. And several more orders are in. So I'm, I've got work to do. I want to thank you folks again. I also want to encourage you folks who um, maybe are hesitant to buy my music, uh, go listen to me on Bandcamp or on my blog because the blog has a applet where you, as soon as you go to the blog, it's playing my music and there's a bunch of my music on there so you can hear what I sound like. And the main thing, the main thing I know at this point is that if you don't like me, it's because you don't like my style. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. But if I'm not for you, it's it's just because you don't, it's not, it's not for you. It's not because I'm not good. I am good. Okay. Seems like I'm, there's always more to tell you, and there is, but I'm going to go ahead and stop this, start uploading it. I'm going to start, I'm going to get back to numbering what I have of the um, colored vinyl. And um, once I've got all of what I have here numbered up, I'm going to start boxing up the very first, and I go in the order. That's the how I do it, okay? I go in the order that I got the the, uh, the order, which, if you watch this, Nathan, has to do with something I said to you, okay? I don't think you understood. Maybe, maybe this will help you understand, okay? Um... I see very clearly. I'm, that doesn't mean that I have the definitive. No one has the definitive. But as clear as, as I can see is what I'm seeing. I see people very clearly. More clearly than you probably want to be seen when you get to know me. <laughs> because even though we're all individuals, we're all the same. And I can see. I, can see, I see through. I see through. I see your core. I see your soul. I do. And um, I'll just say this about me, because uh, this is kind of a general statement, not just to one individual. This is to everyone. I'm not afraid to face what I really am. I'm not, I'm not, uh, choose these words carefully. I want them to be helpful. I have grown up enough to face that I am not all good. No one is all good. I am also mature enough to realize that when I can face my entire self and accept that, rather than always looking for faint praise and, oh, you know, I hope people are thinking good things about me, I'm on sure footing, which has a lot to do with why I come off the way I do. You know, maybe confident, maybe sometimes a little arrogant. Maybe that's me just trying to apologize for feeling so sure about what I have to say, but that's where the sureness comes from, is I see through the veil of bullshit, you know. Man doesn't fool me. We're all the same. We all have to eat, sleep, shit, piss, and all of that. And so false fronts, it's like, just let go of it. You know, I see right through it, you know what I'm saying? And and then your, your nature, people's true nature, it just comes through really quickly, really clearly to me, so... So um, there is a certain amount of I want people, some people to read between the lines here because I love you all. I love all of you. But this is why I say I, I get really sick of people really fast because I see you. I see you. And and it, it's people, especially who try to put on front, are really intolerable to me. Okay? 
whoever in the VC this applies to, if I'm getting to you, if I'm cutting to you through to you, that means you need this message. You need this message, and um, pr probably means that you know if you don't like it, it's time for you to change, or at least to be more honest with yourself. <laughs> Here I go with this stuff. It's just just who I am. I can't, you know, it's just who I am. So anyway, let me get to uh, numbering. And um, I'm hoping that the FedEx will arrive this morning because once the FedEx arrives, then I'll go to the post office because I can't go to the post off office and not miss Fe FedEx, okay? So I'm going to be numbering this morning, boxing up. As soon as I get the rest of my records, what I have boxed up goes in the mail today. I can't thank you all enough for being my friends, for being my fans and for your love.